So recently I had someone ask me how do you do muzzle flashes like in your old throwback video 2013 video production. And the process is quite simple. You'll be able to learn it in just a few minutes. To start you're going to need a copy of the Action Movie Essentials Pack or if you search on the internet long enough you'll probably find some stock PNG images of muzzle flash. Okay so now we have our Action Movie uh, effect of the muzzle flashes in our project right here. We're going to find our shot of our actor shooting. Here's one right here. So we're going to find the frame when the gun starts to go backwards. You're going to have your actor kick the gun back and we're we are going to add this flame effect to find the frame. So now we've got our action movie effect placed over the video right here. We're going to position it using transform, select the clip, we're going to be able to line this up with where the side of the gun so that'll be um, where your shell is being ejected right there and we're going to now we're going to add let's move this forward one frame See, now you've got that uh, that flame coming out of the um, side of the gun where the shell would be ejected. Now we're going to take the muzzle flash, this one, and this, even though these are short videos, it can be done with just PNG images of muzzle flashes, just shortened down to one frame. We're going to put this in the same exact spot. This is when we're going to have to zoom in to our clip because it's going to be very precise. Alright, make sure you have transform on again. Going to take this line it up to the front of our gun we're going one of the important parts here is making sure that it's angled so it goes down with the angle of your gun just turn it a little bit more there we go now it looks like the muzzle flash has some direction to it and that's about it if you're using a PNG image then you'll probably, or a muzzle flash image, you might get a black box around your muzzle flash. If you're getting that, then you're going to want to select the clip, use, um, go down to composing. You're going to select your blend mode and do overlay and that will just make the black go away and the muzzle flash blend into the rest of uh, your image there. Okay. So this looks good for some quick editing right here to just get this simple um, shot going off with this uh, muzzle flash and stuff but Really, we have some more time, so we're going to add uh, a screen here. Make sure you're in the right frame. I'm going to just for one frame. This is one frame right here. Cut that one frame. We're going to apply this uh, shape mask that we've got over here. Make sure that's just on this clip that we're applying the shape mask. 
right, we're going to position this right about where the gun is. Now we're going to go into the correction by hitting this arrow here. Bring up your exposure. If you uh, play around with this a little bit, you can get just what you want. I usually like to make it a little yellow. It's only going to be a split second, so this image, even though it does not look very good, uh, people won't even realize it when it happens. It'll just look like a really cool effect that you have. Um, sometimes even people will take the entire image and bring up the exposure just to give that effect. What that would look like is this. See, it really gives off that um, really gives the effect of the gun going off. Now with this going off it is harder to see your muzzle flashes so you can go in and transform them to make them bigger. It's just your personal action movie so that's up to personal preference but it might help if you have some exaggerated muzzle flashes because uh, people who use guns in real life or have shotguns in real life know that guns do not actually give off muzzle flash so this is purely for the sake of the video just for fun alright I hope you learned how to do some muzzle flashes can make or break your action film Oh no.